What I'm going to show you here is how to move a OneNote notebook from a SharePoint 2010 site to Office 365 OneDrive for business. Now, we start with the uh, source location being a SharePoint 2010 hosted site. You'll see what I've got here is a dedicated OneNote document library. Inside that, I have a notebook called MVP Summit 2012. And when I drill into that, you'll see that it has the sections and the files that are part of that uh, OneNote file. Now, what I'll do is I'll open that. So if I select on the Open Notebook option, it will download that. And then if I select to open it, uh, it will now open that in my OneNote that is on my desktop. Now, if we go up to the name of the notebook, right mouse click and go to Properties, you'll see that at the moment, it's currently storing that in the local drive users Win 10 admin. Okay, so what we need to do is we'll need to change the location and point it to Office 365 OneDrive for Business. Now, we don't know what that is uh, typically, so we need to find that out. Now, to do that, what you'll need to do is you'll nav need to navigate to your OneDrive for Business in Office 365, and you'll see that you'll need to create uh, at least one OneNote notebook in that area so we can actually get the path name to this. Now, I already have a notebook in there called Daybook, but if you need to create a new one, you simply go up to the new option up here and select uh, OneNote notebook and then give that a name and it will save it in there. Now, once you have a OneNote notebook in your OneDrive for Business, you need to open it on your desktop. Okay, so what you'll see here is that I already have it um, synchronized and downloaded to my desktop. Now, if you haven't done that, basically the easy way to do it is simply click on the notebook and what you'll notice in the top of the screen here in the middle is open in OneNote. So once it's open in the browser, you select that and then it will open it in uh, OneDrive on your desktop. Okay, so let me just go back to my OneDrive for business. Right, so now that we have the uh, notebook loaded into our OneDrive on the desktop, what we're going to do is right mouse click on this, we'll go to properties, and you'll see that the location says OneDrive and the Office 365 tenant. Now I'll select the change location button here, and in a minute that will pop up the Windows Explorer that allows me to move it. But I don't want to move this, what I want to do is simply capture the uh, URL for where our, my OneDrive is. So I simply click in that area and then I go Control C to copy that. Or again, I can right mouse click on here and simply copy that. In this case, I cut that. So again, if I right mouse click on this uh, and right mouse click on this and then uh, copy. Okay, so then I cancel that because I don't want to actually move this one. Then I'll move to the one that I uh, just worked on, the MVP Summit, and right mouse click on this, go to Properties, and you'll see that I can go in and change location. Now, what I'll do here is I will go in here and I will paste the uh, URL that I just copied from my Office 365 OneNote, but remember that what we need to do is we need to get rid of the name of the OneNote that we copied it from. So just backspace over that until you have uh, basically the slash document slash. Once you've got that, just hit enter. What it will do is it will redirect you to your Office 365 location. Now you may need to log in to do this. Um, so we have done that. Now all we need to do is select this area. Okay, and what we'll see in a minute is that the notebook will start transferring up to that location and then start synchronizing. And we get the message here that the notebook is now synchronizing to the new location. Now to verify that, if we right mouse click and go properties again, you'll see that it says OneDrive for the Office 365. Now if we go to our Office 365 tenant and we refresh this page, Okay, so what we should see is a, uh, a new uh, notebook. In this case, it's called uh, Downloads. Okay, so if we uh, drill into that, hopefully it has synchronized uh, at least the initial information. Okay, so when you uh, have copied it up there initially, you will see, uh, again, this message that the sec section is corrupt, but it isn't actually, it just hasn't completed synchronization yet. But you'll notice over here that we have our OneDrive for Business section, we have our admin, 
and if I go to my notebook here you'll see that I have my OneNote, OneDrive for Business and my admin so I have basically the same structure so it'll take a minute or two obviously for this to synchronize up to Office 365 but when it is done uh, you certainly uh, basically won't see uh, the error about the corrupt file so here we go it's uh, synchronized up here you'll see that the page is now uh, 2012 Office 365 MVP summit summary and again if we go in here we'll see that is exactly the same so that's how easy it is to uh, move a document uh, OneNote notebook from a uh, SharePoint 2010 site up to uh, Office 365 OneDrive for Business. The main trick I suppose in this is all you need to do is basically right mouse click on the name of the notebook, go into properties and go into change location and then what you'll need to do is you just need to go in and find a notebook that's already on there so you can get a copy of the URL and then use it in the one that you want to shift so really it's as uh, simple as that to do so hopefully you've got some information out of that and it will help you work easier with office 365 and OneNote. thank you very much for watching